Hi guys, welcome to day 11 of my Get Uncomfortable Challenge. Um, one thing that I did not share with you on Friday was that um, I got a little bit of homework from my new life coach last week. And um, one of the things that we're going to focus on is the level or intensity of demand that I put on myself, which is usually fairly high, not going to lie. Um, <clears throat> And I think that, um, you know, we, we need balance in, in all aspects of our lives. And so um, my homework was to uh, think of, of different ways that I can decrease this demand um, that I place on myself um, across various um, avenues of my life. And so um, what I did this weekend was instead of... Um, recording on day, I guess that would have been day 9 and 10, which would be Saturday and Sunday, um, my goal was to have an unplugged weekend, which I did. Um, I didn't get on Facebook, I didn't check my email, I didn't return calls or texts. Um, my phone was um, on airplane mode or off for the entire weekend from Friday afternoon until um, I got home today at around... 2 or 3 p.m., so almost three days, actually, um, and I was really happy about that, and it was something that I um, I really wanted to do and I thought was very important, um, but, you know, the challenge happened to fall in line with that little mini vacay, and so I was going to record my videos and upload them and whatnot, but I decided to um, decrease my demand and not record for two days. Um, I still did plenty of uncomfortable things, including laying topless by the pool, <laughs> but um, I don't have videos, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, I'm still going strong. Like I said, today's day 11, and um, I'm back now, and I'm really excited because, you know, things have been going really well for me, and I feel a lot more comfortable um, in so many different ways, which, you know, is the whole point, uh, getting uncomfortable means that you're going to be more comfortable and forcing yourself out of your comfort zone, challenging yourself. That's how you grow and learn and, and become a better person. And like I said, it's the whole point of the challenge. So I'm happy. I'm proud of myself um, for doing that. It was actually more difficult than it sounds because um, I really do have heavy demand for myself and my aspirations and my goals and, and things that I say I'm going to do. I get shit done. I don't mess around. So... Um, you know, to, to say I'm going to do something and then kind of reassess and make a different decision is not something I'm likely to do, but now I see the importance of it. And, you know, this was just one small thing. And now I can apply that same principle to my business, my personal life, my relationships, everything. Um, so it's just incredible. It's only day 11 and I've already learned so much about myself and, I already mentioned this, but I, I literally am so much more comfortable just in everything, in myself, in speaking, in everything. It's, it's like, really weird. Um, <laughs> but anyways, it's awesome. I love it. So, um, miss you guys. Thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Have a good night.